I live in a fifth wheel RV trailer with a chapel in the back. My mission? To reach unloved, desperate, de-churched and unchurched people for Jesus here in this RV park. The people that are here are here because of money troubles. Some are vacationers, some are migrant workers, but no matter where they come from, divorce, addiction, job loss, foreclosure, that's what's common. Hi folks. Hope for Life Chapel was started for them. One of the things that makes this unique is the open air. We can be seen throughout the whole park. People sit and see us ministering. People come and join us. It's a very unique ministry. Uh, I haven't seen anything like it. It's benefited me and my wife tremendously. Through Bible studies, prayer, counseling, and group gatherings, I help these people realize that they are loved, that they have their own special God-given gift, and they can make a difference in the lives of others. My son was a raging heroin addict. Uh, we prayed over him and sent him to rehab, and here nine months later he's clean and sober. What a blessing. Of course, none of this would be possible without the local church. I'm so grateful for their prayers, their encouragement, and their help. For us at Christ Presbyterian Church, having Tamara here in Hope for Life Chapel with the people of the trailer park has created this incredible bridge between the two, where we can come and serve and they can come and be served. Every day I see someone else that's gotten food or prayer, just whatever they need in their life. Listening, encouraging, and sharing a love that surpasses all understanding. That's how Hope for Life Chapel reaches this RV community for Jesus. And God's not done. There's more to come. Oh.